So, before you decide what water cooling components you're gonna buy for your next build, I feel obligated to share with you something I kind of stumbled on while working on my Hydro X GPU water block. I feel that if I would have known what I know now, it might have changed m my mind on what water block I ended up buying. The water block in question is my XG7 for my 2080 Ti. However, the problem I notice appears to be an inherent design flaw that will affect all XG7 water blocks, not just the ones, you know, made for the 2080 Ti. Now, before I go making wild accusations of design flaws in Corsair's Hydro X series, I think it's fair to point out that I am not an expert in water block design. However, when I'm not creating goofy Rube Goldberg creations on my tech channel, I do work as a mechanical engineer at an engineering firm and do have some design experience, be that in the industrial industry, not the commercial industry. In the commercial industry, you're designing products intended to be mass produced. And because of this, reducing costs to manufacture, even a little bit adds up when you're producing thousands or millions of units. And this is where I think Corsair maybe inadvertently shot themselves in the foot. On the Hydro X XG7 water block, you have a manifold on top where you connect your fittings. In a perfect world, this would just be machined in rather than bolted on. However, machining costs money and every dollar matters. And that's why you see more fittings or fitting manifolds rather than machined inlets and outlets. Now this is not unique to Corsair. Almost all GPU water block manufacturers do this. However, a lot of them choose to use machined acrylic, whereas uh, Corsair appears to have used injected molded plastic. On the surface, well, not as robust as a machine piece of acrylic, there's no problem with using plastic. In fact, if you're not making thousands of these, it's actually more expensive to go this route as the cost of producing a mole exceeds the fabrication cost of machining acrylic. Where this pays off is when you start making thousands and thousands of these same parts, and the reason Corsair's GPU water blocks all appear to use the same manifold. The big issue, in my opinion, is Corsair's choice to use only two fasteners to secure this manifold. Now I'm not saying that this was done to cut costs, it simply could have been an oversight. However, the fact that they added this little aluminum support indicates to me that they were aware of possible flexing causing leaks, but that's only speculation on my part. As you compare this block to other blocks in the market, you will notice that almost every other GPU water block you come across has three fasteners, one on either side and one in the center. The lack of this third screw in the center is where I noticed the problem. Because this is a plastic manifold and it's not as stiff as a piece of acrylic, any torque placed across the manifold will develop into a leak. For example, if you have your GPU mounted horizontally or normal, and the tubing is pulling downwards on the manifold, you can develop a leak right at the center of the manifold. And tightening the two screws on the ends doesn't really, doesn't really help anything. It only exaggerates the issue because over tightening those two end screws produces a slight bow in the center of the manifold. Now I never noticed this before because I had my card mounted vertically. However, while I was upgrading my system in that last video you guys might have seen, I had the system laying on its back while I was doing some troubleshooting, let's say. And while doing this, gravity pulled on my softline tubing and that was enough to cause a slow and steady drip onto my motherboard. Lucky for me though, I was working on the system so I didn't have any power to it and I simply had to wait for the system to dry off and I was able to power it back on with uh, no damage. Lucky. It was like one of the only lucky things that happened to me during this build. However, I do believe if you had your GPU mounted, say, normally in its standard configuration and you had enough tubing hanging from the manifold, this would place enough force on the manifold to create a slow, steady seep that would drip onto your power supply shroud or worse, your power supply. Now, as you can... As you can see, I'm still using the water block and as long as I keep from torquing on the manifold, I haven't had any issues. However, if I was to buy another water block, say in the future, unless Corsair corrects this issue by adding a third screw in the center, I would probably choose another block just for the peace of mind. Also, I do have a Corsair CPU block, fittings and radiators and they all perform well. I haven't noticed any issues with them. It seems like just an issue with the GPU water blocks. And it could just be a mistake, but mistake or not, I feel like this should be corrected in future versions of this product. Now in the comments down below, let me know, do you guys have one of these water blocks? Have you noticed any leaking issues? Is uh, Now I only have a sample size of one, so maybe this is just something I noticed on my specific GPU water block. Um, 
Doesn't seem like that to me, but let me know what you guys have seen or experienced in the comments down below. Thank you guys for watching.